a lot of people know you as the voice of Dr. Kleiner in the Half-Life series. Yes. But they may not know that you had actually uh, written and starred in a, in a movie, a Chameleons, and that was 1989. My friend, uh, Bob Shee, uh, who is a gentleman living in San Francisco, wanted to make uh, a movie. and. Um, Several scripts were produced for it. Uh, none of them were satisfactory. Finally, uh, Michael Anderson began a draft that he and I finished, and uh, we thought it had enough humor in it to, to go ahead. Sam, congratulate me. I've done it. I've done it. I've been in resonance with an alien plenum for, for, for 18 minutes now. Look in the viewport. The viewport oh, over here. Oh, no, wait a minute. What am I doing? Forget about the viewport. Uh, go over there and uh, check the emission counter. Uh, check the emission counter. Oh, I, I, no, wait, 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 wait. I, I could just balance it from over here. Uh, check the monitor. You stay on the monitor. Dad, slow down a minute. I haven't understood a word you said. Aren't you paying attention? A three-year-old could understand this. I'm talking about an infinitely stretched plasmoid bubble sustaining itself from nanosecond to nanosecond. It's that simple. Our budget was never great. It was a million dollars, uh, roughly. But we thought that although we would not be able to uh, duplicate the slickness that the great studios bring, perhaps if we had something in the script that would be unusual, that would be a value that would carry us through. Unfortunately, there were a number of uh, people working on the film who thought all of those things were very un-Hollywood and did their best to cut them down, leaving us with a much weaker entry than we would have otherwise. And I understand that the director of Chameleons, Michael Anderson, uh, we went on to become a director on The Simpsons. A supervising animation director, and I believe Michael's name is on just about every episode of The Simpsons that comes out now. We, Michael and I, have eventual hopes, perhaps, of uh, restoring the movie I pay each month for 90-odd uh, reels of film to be stored in the vault in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. If I stop paying, they'd be thrown out. The version that you might see, which can be completely seen online, is very unfair to um, Kathleen Beeler's cinematography. The color timing seems atrocious, and it was much better done originally. But matters get out of your hands. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. One thing uh, when I was watching the movie is that you've got all these, these people running around this house. There's a birthday party. There's misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of romance. It really seems like more like a comedic farce, like Much Ado About Nothing, more yes. than a B-horror film. The setup of farce is there. Michael Anderson and me understood this, but not many others did. The producers, only familiar with uh, uh, Kung Fu films certainly did not. Uh, some people we would tell to act in a certain way and they would say, well, I just don't see it that way. You know, and, mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't explain why. And uh, the result, as you've seen, is somewhat uneven. I see Lovecraft um, as an influence on the movie. You've got names like Pikmin. Uh, there's the Miskatonic University. Um, yes. There's the idea of other dimensions. And what Once I was again, only a few people even knew what this was about, and others thought it, it meaningless, and uh, uh, they would cut out what we would put in. But uh, and some of it is, remains in. What's the key difference between what we would see on like a VHS edition of Chameleons and, and what you and Anderson uh, could release in a perfect world? Well, uh, there were more scenes because we went outside our set in Emeryville to, uh, it's important, uh, I never could make uh, the people who were cutting the film down understand that you want to open up so you don't feel so claustrophobic, just to have exteriors, to be outside. Uh, my late mm -hmm. brother appeared in uh, them and did a, a comic turn. Um, I'm sorry that that is gone and it would be great to restore it.